Hello everyone. Happy Monday. Uh, once again, it is time for the MS-DOS games. Purely because, well, it starts with them. Uh, we don't have Poppy Cam on today, so let me just turn that off. She is snoozing in the bedroom. It is dark and cozy in there. I'm not going to disturb her. <clears throat> How is everyone doing today? Hope everyone had a tolerable Monday. I uh, did not put the usual uh, please wait music on because this is enough of a bop that it can do just fine on its own. I need to lock my mouse cursor to the screen for this one. Cool. So yeah, this is Lemmings 2, following on from Lemmings 1 last time. Um, I'm pretty sure I played Lemmings 1 first on other people's computers. But Lemmings 2 was the first one in the series that I actually owned myself. Um, it was a family computer and like the two games that we got initially with it was Lemmings 2 and Alone in the Dark. So this game, yeah, it brings back a lot of memories for me. Um, like I think one of the, the tricky things was just getting it installed and running at the start, because you don't really know... The game came with like a little piece of paper saying, oh, to install the game you type C, and then uh, CD Lemmings, and install, and setup, and things like that. Um, that was, you know, just like first fumbling around the DOS prompt. <clears throat> and then, of course, you get into all the fun with EMS and XMS and Sound Blaster drivers just to get the game running properly, uh, which DOS box here makes just perfect. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can pick, like, whatever sound card settings you like and DOSBox just says oh yeah we totally have that attached here let's route some music through it uh so yeah let's get into it there's this map thing here right um lemmings 2 differs from lemmings 1 in that you have these 12 tribes and each of them has their own little thing and the idea is that they all meet in the center which I never managed to do at all um, when playing this casually as a kid. Um, but yeah, you go to the beach. I think the beach ones are the first ones. But it's nice. It means you don't get stuck on a particular level. Um, you know, like, there's always an alternative level to try if you're getting stuck. And I think also the idea with this one is it's theoretically possible to save every lemming because there's a medal that you get for reaching the center with each tribe and there's like 60 lemmings in each tribe and it carries over with each level so if you've only saved 58 lemmings on this one there we go given there's a whole bunch of entry points if you only saved um 58 on this level then you only get 58 to start the next level so it's kind of tricky And what have we got? We've got flamethrower, yep, that'll do. Flamethrower is the answer to all of life's problems. Um, Stomper, I think, would let us go down here, but then they'll probably splat. What else we got? Filler. There we go. Oh. No, they're fine. Oh, the fan! One thing I remember from this is, for some reason, you've got a, a fan cursor that you can use to blow lemmings around. Not working when these ones are falling, so... Hmm. I do not remember what circumstances you can use that. There's a roper. 
Oops. Can I use it to get everyone up here? Yes. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of new interesting abilities. This super lemming one is fun because you can just directly control them. Uh, jumper. And a bomber, I'm assuming, will get them to explode, which we don't want for this. Oh, okay, they're stuck there. Um, flamethrower. Flamethrower solves everything. No, not that way, dummies. And unlike the last game where you had a ability to control... Can you get through there? You can't. We had the ability to control the release rate. This one doesn't give you that, but it does give you this nice fast forward button. Gold! Gold standard! <laughs> How, how topical. Next level. Uh, okay, we're back here. Do I just go play? Will it pick a level for me? Kind of frozen there for a second. Uh, the beach again. It's not the same level, is it? That's different, yeah. This... this is actually the same level again. What the hell, game? We did this one. Might have been supposed to use an arrow key or something for this one. Wait, no, is, is this going to take me straight back to the one? Play. Hang around for a bit while the game thinks. Beach. Yeah, like, why can't I use left and right? Not sure what's gone wrong here. We aced the last level. <clears throat> I mean, we can probably just fix this. It's nice that there's a lot of alternative solutions to everything. I know. Although fire does seem pretty useful. Okay, so next level, right? I can dump me back at the title screen. What if I look at the map? I did only give this game the most cursory of checks when I'd installed it. Or 
sports. Let's try sports. Lemmings. This. We've got three flamethrowers and one bomber to use. I'm having weird memories come up of, of this level. Oh yeah, wow. So that's got to be some sort of trampoline. And I guess... Uh, where is the exit? Is there? Oh, there, there's like a goal. So it kind of looks like... I mean, if we cheesed it, we could maybe get through there. Let's just play, see what, what happens. Yeah, into the steam vent. Okay, they go up here. Get to the next bit, I guess. It's thrown up here. I'm amazed that they're not splatting from this. I don't think any of this stuff is actually relevant. This is just for decoration. I think the idea is we send them... Back. No, not that way. Wow. Going out of bounds is instant death, I guess. <clears throat> I wanted to send them to the left again so that maybe they would go back. Replay. No problem. Alright, so I reckon if I flamethrower immediately, no, no, that's not going to help. It takes so long to restart as well. Dosbox has pulled me back to 3000 cycles, that's weird. started. Okay, we can do this. And if we can't, that's fine. There's other levels we can play. <clears throat> Alright, we'll let them go all the way over here. Burn our way through this bit. Let them continue bouncing, and then we've got to burn our way through the left bit. And then the other way. Which... oh. No, that gets you stuck as well. Hold on, let's see. If I exploded one, that would send them down here. Send them up here, then... Then... maybe... Let's, let's try it out while we've still got this. Can't change the mid-air.
I'm sending them the right way, I guess. But no, then this way? Why this way? Oh, this is mad. Oh, I see. Um, you need to burn your way through these two bits then at the end, which we can't do because we don't have enough flamethrowers. Cool. But yeah, to do that with the bomb would mean killing off one of the lemmings and missing out on a perfect score for that map. So there has to be some other way. I just have no idea what that would be. Ports to lemmings seems to be just basically get thrown around a lot. That's their idea of sports. And there's all these sort of sporting accoutrements, like tennis balls and darts. Oh dear, I didn't blow through enough of that. Wow, this is going to be frustrating. Replay the level. Right. This time, we got this. The graphics are nice. I really do love, like, this, I don't know what you call it, VGA color palette. The specific limit on colors that sort of gave rise to this kind of graphics. Probably just nostalgia's sake. Uh, you need to explode here. Why are you not exploding there? That definitely killed a few lemmings. But we've got the stuff we need now. We can get through this. That's gotta be it. Also, out of curiosity... I still don't seem to be affecting them with the fan. That's... odd, if you ask me. Alright, speed them up. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, you can't see them going there. There we go. Fifty-five lemmings. But can you give that extra bit of effort? Well, the solution to your puzzle seems to be that at least one lemming has to detonate themselves, so I'm not sure I can. <clears throat> I wonder if... Like, the next level of functionality is broken, and the fan is broken for a particular reason. In order to uh, gently encourage people. Like, if I choose Sports Lemmings again, is it going to recognize that I unlocked the next level? It's got this little thing here showing that I got silver place on this one. But I cannot go left or right. I think that's almost certainly the answer. 
Which is a pity. But we can have a taste of all these other uh, lemming intro levels. And that's what MS DOS Mondays is all about, really. Just have a look. Land of Oz, this level's called. Just have a look and revive that nostalgia factor. This one's dark. Oh, yes, hang on. Um, bad stuff here. And here, haha. Uh -huh. What you could catch me, did you? Go through this one. The one downside, uh, downside with Lemmings Two, I think, over the first one. Uh, yeah, just no, no, this way. But you can't target a lemming going in a particular direction. Hope they gave us extra flamethrowers. Um, yeah, here we go. We've got this TARDIS-like phone booth here. But that's actually the background? Like, they're up to the graphical fidelity of everything, which is cool. But in doing so, they've kind of introduced elements where you're not sure if it's actually part of the foreground or the background. Oh, more of these things. Not flame through them, so maybe we can. Yeep! No, no! That's enough. Don't know why they've got a scary moon face person here. It almost seems like this is Doctor Who themed with the Targetist, but, um. I don't remember that from Doctor Who. Then again, there's a lot of Doctor Who I haven't watched, because there is a lot of Doctor Who. I started watching it ages and ages ago. Um, I think SBS were doing like a binge of like all the old Doctor Whos from the early black and white ones. And I got through the first Doctor, and just I put it aside for a bit, and I haven't gone back. Yay. We lost two lemmings. Not terrible. I think you're only going to get gold if you actually save everyone. Can we play the next level game? No, you're going to send us back to the title? Okay. Uh, so that was the shadow lemmings. What are the cave limbs like? Ordex power. I don't know what that means. We've got stompers, builders, and club bashers. Quick look. Gotta get. Gotta get there. And in our way is some nasty green sludge stuff. I don't know why there's a second pool of green sludge under the first. It's not like I'm gonna go down there. <clears throat> um, yeah, if I do a... Oh, Stomper. Yeah, that'll get us through here. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, okay, I did not expect this... Triceratops here to be part of the scenery, uh, to be, like, an active thing. No, oh, that's fine. You, you're you basically going that... Uh... There we go. Game had to troll you with the last one flinging lemmings to their doom. Two little glowing eyes in the darkness here, if you can see it. 
I wonder if I tried to go around there, there'd be some sort of horrible beastie. Uh, I don't really have the tools to control the lemmings. And make them go there, unless I wanted to... Hmm. Yeah, we'd have to, like, dig down here or somewhere. It's fine. It shall remain a mystery. Fifty-eight lemmings. Not give that extra bit of effort. Uh, well, okay, we probably could. That one didn't seem to have any requirements. It was just taking you by surprise. Space lemmings. Go to space. Space, space. I go to space. Oh wow, you get a lot of different options with this one. Jumper, jetpack. How is the jetpack different from the super lem, I wonder? Runner, like why do you want a lemming to just move faster? That's just gonna hinder you, right? Mortar, filler, platformer, diver. Is a diver like a swimmer? And the level is called hit the space bar, clever. Hitting the space bar doesn't do anything though, game. Unless you mean like hit the bar. Might have to do that later. And lockdown's over. So we're gonna fall down here and go to the left. Where are we even headed to? I have no idea where we're trying to go. There's some sort of thing here. That might be an exit. Um, hey, super lamb. Help me out here is... Oh. It flew off the edge of the screen. Help me out here. It, oh, that's right. They can't change direction very easily, and they... They are no longer super when they fall. Yeah, if you change the angle too hard, they just kind of keep going. Jetpacks. What do jetpacks do? Okay, can you be a jetpacker and a super limb? You cannot. Wait, now you're just hovering in place there? What are you gonna... Are you gonna stop being... okay? Seems a bit pointless if they just hover in place for a while. Uh, let's just shoot the place up a bit. I guess we can't do that. Oh, but we did manage to bounce this guy over this way. Sure. Uh, you can test to see if this is an exit or not. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, but they're gonna... Uh, fine. There is an edge to this part. How to use for the runner. Okay, that is, like, that... It's an airlock, I guess. And that is supposed to be the exit. <laughs> so now that all our lemmings are in this pit, uh, how do we get them out of it? I suppose you could just use the filler? I don't think that's going to be enough. Probably the better solution was don't let them go in this pit in the first place, but we don't have blockers on this level. So what's the solution? I guess you could bridge over the hole? hover over the hole, they cannot. Use a mortar attack to... 
So the bit that they're in is resistant to explosions. Oh, but the floor wasn't, that's the solution. Which we might have managed to get them stuck now because we filled it with glue. Whoa! Okay, we ran out of time. You saved one lemming. Uh, Alright, we'll replay that one. <clears throat> that one shouldn't be too hard. It's just... You've got to know which bits are explodable and which ones aren't. Which I think could have been expressed visually more clear. Or more clearly. This time, when you're ready, Lemmings, I want you to go this way, and then it's only going to take a single auto shot to help them. Sorted. indeed and next level is not going to take us to another space level we just have to keep doing the map it takes forever to load for some reason polar lemmings okay the chemistry joke in here somewhere Oh, that's a glue pour. I thought the other filler was the glue pouring lemming, but there's an actual specific glue pourer. I wonder what the glue does to that. Was it like a... Like it sort of makes a bridge if it goes on an underhang. Oh no, it's playing Christmas tunes. I'm gonna get DMCA'd by someone who had a cover song of this or something like stupid like that well uh okay there's an igloo up here that's probably the egg no wait there's another igloo here that looks more like the exit dealer and i bet that's where we use the glue uh we've got mortar we've got a bazooka hmm. well we can get out of this one fire And I don't know how the bazooka works, but we'll we'll learn on the fly. This will be a learning experience. Fire. Yeah, okay, it just shoots straight forwards. And I'm gonna try the glue. Okay, that did not have the desired effect, but I think this one will. Um, can we get through here with the mortar? Not that way, you dumbass lemmings. Oh wow, this is not going to go well. I need a gap in the lemmings where they're not all just on top of each other, pointing left and right. It's only going to get worse as we add more lemmings. Uh, there we go. That didn't 
quite blast the way I wanted it to. Uh, I'm worried that if we do this... Well, yeah, for starters it'll go the wrong way. And for the other reasons, it'll blow up the glue bridge. Yeah, so we're screwed and have to start over. Well, uh, that's the fun Lemmings nuking experience from days of old. Yes, I seem to have accidentally extincted that tribe. Sorry. Uh, where were we? Polar Lemmings. Can't be dissolved in alcohol. So what if we used the bazooka? Oh, oh geez. To get through here. No, not that lemming. For heaven's sake. We're not going to have enough now. We'll have to make it work somehow. Because I want to save the flamethrower for the last bit. Because it's so much more straightforward. Oh, and there's not even enough for them to climb up there. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, will it work? No, it just makes things worse. Restart. Is there some secret alternative way we could get through there? Doesn't look like it. Hey, Kate. Good morning. How are you? We are playing Lemmings 2. Uh, just sort of doing a buffet of each of the starting levels of the 12 different kinds of Lemmings. Because that seems to be all I can play with this particular version I've installed. So we'll use the flamethrower, get through there, before all the lemmings start stacking on top of each other and it's horrible. And then we can try that, and maybe a bit of, oh no, they're already stacking this, because the mortar is kind of less fun. And they should be able to get up to this lip. We can use the glue to make a bridge. And we've still got another glue if we end up blowing the bridge up. Yeah. More glue. Those other lemmings will just have to be sacrificed. Or maybe we can save them. I don't know. Hang on. Oh no, but... I still can't get over that tiny little lip of the metal thing because I can't blow it up and I'm out of glue. What is this game? Am I just like a pixel off? Oh, this is maddening. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. I mean, I'm streaming at 720 and I think... There's this whole encoding method called, like, ABR encoding. Like, either I become a Twitch... What's the one other than partner? Um, 
you know, when you unlock the emotes and things, then Twitch will start uh, doing alternative bitstream encoding for me, I think. Maybe it's a partner thing, I'm not sure. If I wanted to do it myself, I could maybe do this ABR encoding, where it encodes like several different versions of the stream. Um, yeah, sorry. Convince all your friends to like and subscribe to my content. Maybe that'll fix it. Um, you can always check the VOD later, and I upload to YouTube. YouTube will definitely give you different bitrate options. But it is nice to see you drop by. Hope you have a good day today. I know it's like Monday morning for you. Um, let's just mute these people and start all over. Affilia, that was the word I was looking for. Um, I think it is, yeah. Let me have a look, actually. Um... Oh wow, it's, it's not even affiliate, uh, according to this little snippet from Google. Uh, Non-partnered Twitch streamers are not guaranteed encoder options. Non-partnered channels should stream at a lower bitrate to accommodate viewers with slower connections, or until they see Twitch prioritizing... Prioritizing... I don't know whether this is a bit But yeah, sounds like it sucks. Um, like I could stream at 480p just for you, Kate. Then I'd have to redo all of my layout stuff. Um, please get better internet. I mean, here I thought my terrible Australian internet was going to be the lowest common denominator for everything. I'm amazed that I can even stream. I've had this Twitch account for a lot longer than, like, I, I started streaming last half of 2020, so. But I had it for years before that, because I thought one day, oh, you know what, that would be fun, wouldn't it? I stream some stuff. But that was back when I was on ADSL, and uh, <laughs> it did not work. It did not even try to work. Oh, I haven't screwed myself over again, have I? No, that's fine. So the NBN that I have now, National Broadband Network, um, that gives me 100 megabits down and well, it was 20 up, but then I got the extra package to give me 40 up, yeah. which is still not amazing, but it's good enough for Twitch because they limit you to 600 kilobits anyway. Okay, wow. Uh, Uh, let's see if we can pour glue here. Okay, that worked momentarily, then screwed us over. Okay. Let's try shooting that. Nope. And we're out of bazooka ammo. This level is cruel for a level one. Nothing else for it? Explodey. That is fun, though.
like as kids we would have fun just kind of digging a little hole and getting lemmings in there and then exploding them knowing that they would fly all over the screen let's move on to a different tribe because that level sucks what's next highland lemmings Got bazookas, glue pourers, twisters, fillers, stackers, and ballooners. And of course, the lemmings have red hair. So, I guess we're trying to get to the red phone box. Are they still a thing in Scotland? I mean, I know they got rid of them in the UK, except for a few, like, that people have preserved. Oh, thanks, Glue. That's not very helpful. What about if we do this? Um... Yeah, I don't know if Scotland also got rid of theirs. They are kind of iconic, the red telephone booth. I saw a... oh jeez, that's not going to help me, is it? I saw a Tom Scott video where um, some people had... Oh, of course, we could dig down here. Some people have converted them, like some local councils and things. I don't know how to use this drill up person. Like, they just kind of spin in place? Am I supposed to use the fan? Which we... Oh, which is working now! Okay. We just didn't understand the fan. Fan only works on certain lemmings. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. They're converting some of those old red telephone booths to become... What's you call it? with the emergency defibrillator. Which was kind of interesting. Like the, the booths have power because BT were just too lazy to remove the power. Like it would cost more to unpower all the booths than it would to um, come up with some other solution. But the power is only good for like the lighting and the heating of the box. Um, but the councils have to make uh, some other arrangements so that the power for the defibrillator pabitals is available, so it's all charged. Gold standard. Ooh. Ah, so we've only got a few more levels left that we seem to be able to play. It's been a tiring Monday, I don't know about you. Like, I didn't really do much. I was just cleaning up stuff from last sprint. Locus Lemmings. This should be fun. Uh, but yeah, wow. Sleepy. Went for a walk. It was nice and sunny for a bit. Got some token bit of exercise. Jumpers, laser blasters, glue pourer, and a climber. Interesting. Seems like we want one climbing lemming to go ahead. No idea what a laser blaster lemming does. Kind of looks like it's a vertical thing. I see. Can I move this with the. Oh wow, that's a new. Oh dear. Whoops. Introduces a new mechanic a little bit too slow. And now I'm making lemmings jump the wrong way. There we go. So I'm pretty sure we need to get this little lem 
over to the other side and drill underneath its colleagues. Be a climber. And a laser person. Maybe at this point, so that we don't have people going the wrong way. Yeah, there we go, it's digging upwards, nice. Oh dear, now the, the horde is unleashed. Uh... We want the glue to go over there. Yep, nice, nice. And then it's up to the circus tent. Did we actually pass this level? We did. Yippee! So yeah, today wasn't terrible on paper. There weren't any incidents to deal with or anything. Um, frankly, my work on my current project is rather tame compared to the old project. Uh, but yeah, just feeling fatigued and sleepy. It's probably just a lockdown effect. I mean, I went outside. I got some sun. But there's still just the ominous doom cloud over everything. Yeah. Right, let's see. What do we have left? Classic lemmings with crystals and weird buildings. Do you remember? Oh, it's a copy of one of the early uh, levels from Lemmings 1. And it just gives you 20 of everything. Okay. Please let me refer to my VOD from last week to help me solve this level. Actually, I don't want to do that, do I? Because uh, then they will all perish. Or do I? Because I want them to go through the... Hmm. I don't think that's going to give them enough space to land on, but we'll give it a go. Probably should have sent a climber lemming ahead to sort of fix all of this for us, but we'll just... Yep, come on. Send him through. Ding me. One pixel. Still, at least we get the remastered version of this soundtrack, which is nice. Don't know why they couldn't solve it in the Lemmings 1 port for DOS. Hope we go the correct way up. Okay, we're going fine. No problems. No lemming left behind. Missing from this level recreation though is all the weird extra shit they left on the left and right sides that had no relation to the lemmings, uh, the platform puzzle at all. Next. Might actually be the last one we can play unless we figure out the solution to that polar one. Medieval. Oh no, there's also Egyptian and outdoor.
Lamang of Nottingham. We get 10 scoopers, 20 jumpers, pourers, jetpacks, Icarus wings. There's a lot of... <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of flying options in this version of the game, isn't there? And a lot of them don't seem to really do much, or like, they'll let you fly but then don't fix the problem of gravity afterwards. We go. Looks like a fair distance to cross. Scooper. This is different from a digger somehow. What music though? Sand pourer. Different from the filler and the glue. Hmm. I think I need a jumper to get up there. And can we give them a jetpack? If I give them a jetpack right at this lip here, would they know to just kind of climb up there? No. Okay, we've got a parachuter, we'll give him Icarus wings. There's got to be a way to get them up. Oh, they're not going the right way anyway. I need a new one. Okay, you. Wings. Go. Oh, right, of course, the fan system. Flying too close to the sun, come on. Down you go. Uh, then I need you to scoop out a tunnel and come back the other way. Mm-hmm. More sand, please. And then we should be done. We'll scoop our way down. What's the big cloth hand thing here doing? Not gonna reach down suddenly and grab my lemmings, are they? Is it? Alright, we're safe. Maybe it's just decoration. Either way, if the game won't let us proceed to the next level in this uh, theme, I guess we won't find out. So I won't be doing, like, Lemmings 3 or whatever it was called. Because, um, really, this, this whole series for me is about nostalgia. And I don't... I don't think I ever played any Lemmings game past this one. <clears throat> Obviously, if you're following me on Twitter, you're welcome to suggest games at me at any time. But I'm mostly going to be picking and choosing based on what I remember playing myself, or reading about in magazines, that sort of thing. Playing on other people's computers, playing on my own computer, yeah. And at some point, I think what I'm going to have to do with this is stop with the random day, like, game of the week kind of format, and we're going to get round to Ultima 7, the Black Gate, and then I'm just going to have to do this year-long Let's Play of Ultima 7. Because that game ruled my childhood. Um, I mean, we'll get into it when we eventually get around to that, but uh, me and my sister both played that to death um, to the point where we weren't really trying to complete the game's quests or anything. Um, what we were doing was we 
with the game engine, uh, you could cheat to be able to move arbitrary bits of scenery around. And the thing was that some of the scenery was coded in such a way that uh, you couldn't move it permanently into a new position because the avatar is not supposed to be able to move stone walls around so the game doesn't save their state to the save game. But some things like doors and secret tunnel walls, which looked like stone walls, uh, they did get saved because they were something that the avatar could change normally. So we we scoured the land for secret passage doors and special bits of stuff that could be roofs and doors and other furniture that we knew would stay fixed if you moved it using the hack mover tool and we built houses we turned ultima 7 into the sims basically just build our own little house somewhere and yeah it was so good You'd always get excited when you discovered a new bit of scenery that, for whatever reason, the game decided it would track the coordinates of. Uh, I think we've got to dig these people out, and we've got to shoot you over to the side, because we can't dig through that. Hmm... Can't dig any further. We've got four obstacles to get through, and four dig like tools to get through them with. If we can get a lemming pointing the right direction. And yeah, if we get through Ultima 7 Black Gate, there's always Ultima 7 Part 2, the Serpent Dial, which we also sunk years of our lives into. Um, not in a bad way, honestly. That game was, was so good. Let us bond as siblings. And it taught me stuff, you know? Like, I remember distinctly once helping my mum out with a crossword puzzle. Because I knew what a halberd was. <laughs> Final theme, outdoor lemmings. Aren't most of these lemmings outdoors anyway? Okay, it's fine. Just don't think about it too hard. Uh, we've got wings, twister... Uh, Sampor, Oglipor, I feel like So it looks like we just need to get through some terrain. Possibly with flying? There's what looks like two exits. That's interesting. I reckon we could just try this twister one and use the fan to guide them through the terrain. Oh. Not, it's easier said than done, but let's try it out. Oh, have we ruined it? What does the planter do? Okay, it makes a little bit of foliage. Fine. Go horizontal a little bit. Now go diagonally. That is a tricky one to do. The moment the game thinks you want to go vertical, it becomes pointless. Ah, yeah.
And we've got lots of these to use, but we're running out of terrain to use it on. What about the sand pourer? That could like add some stuff here that, that we could drill through. Yes, okay. Nothing can go wrong here. With all this sand and stuff I've got, I could have probably just built up to the left-hand exit. But I'm being stubborn now. Actually, you know what? We could build a cross. Like if we turned around. No, no, come on. We, we can get to this top... Um, top right exit. Just a few more. In fact, we can probably go horizontal now and that'll be fine. Yeah. We lost one to going off the edge of the screen, but that's fine. It's fine. Yeah, in hindsight, it would probably have been a lot easier to go for the left-hand exit there and just build up. Sparkling performance. Cool. Um, I think that's basically it for tonight. I'll try and fix the game because it's obviously not wanting to let us retain which levels we've cleared. Um, but no big deal. We got to have a look around the level, like the levels that we do have available. And there's so many more games to play, we can't just, like, sink too much time into each one. There are so many DOS games from this era that are at least kind of interesting. I have a bunch of old, like, um, PC format cover CDs somewhere that probably has a few interesting games on them. But I'll worry about that next Monday when I try and figure out what I want to play. Um, thank you all for joining me. Take care, everyone. Uh, lockdown is tough. And no promises on the QBasic Gorillas thing, but it's it's still on my mind. Just need the time to work on it. I'll see you all next time. Bye.